Charterman, 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 Wants to call me the letdown. Hey, what's up, you guys? Shardimus Prime here, doing another Kotobukiya statue review on the Star Wars Artifacts Plus Emperor Palpatine with Royal Guard 3 pack. I gotta give a big thanks to Kotobukiya for sponsoring this YouTube channel and providing this product over here to review for you guys. If you want to see the latest from Kotobukiya, be sure to check the links in the description below. Nice packaging right over here for the Star Wars. I do like it. Nice image of Emperor Palpatine. And then on the back, you can see some product shot. And then there's more product shots right down over there and then on this side we get Palpatine again and then on the top says Star Wars Emperor Palpatine with Royal Guard 3 pack and then not much more at the bottom so let's get to it and crack these things open and here's all three statues out of the packaging and this is a great looking set I really like this a lot especially the Emperor Palpatine I mean as you can see the Royal Guards right over here they have some great paint detail but yeah the level of detail going into that Emperor Palpatine is very very impressive so let's get a closer look so here's looking at the helmet sculpt of one of the Royal Guards or Imperial Guards. I'm used to calling them Imperial Guards. And they each come with their own lance as well, which looks great. I love this bright silver that we're seeing right here. Nice clean black paint apps. I really dig that a lot. Nicely detailed sculpt. Uh, the way you just place this on the statue is that he just holds it in his right hand like that and you just lean it against the statue right there. But looking at this helmet, I think it looks really good. I really like this high gloss that we're seeing right there. So it's very shiny. Nice visor. Looks really good. Can't complain about that. And these two are identical to each other. You know, there's no difference between the two of them. Uh, these are snap fit statues, so, or modeling kits anyway. But So you do have to assemble the feet, and I'll just show that in a second. But looking at the robe over here, I really like this black fade that we're seeing over the red. And nicely sculpted wrinkles throughout on this. That looks really good. Nice flow going right there. So that's pretty sweet. And you can see the glove on the side pretty cool you could see some wrinkles in there nice seams nice shadowing effect right there too on those red sections creeping up the arm really good I'm gonna remove that and get a better look at the fingers and everything then here's looking at the boots you can see he does have magnets at the bottom of his feet of course and yeah you just have to port the boots right into the bottom of the figure very easy to do this set does come with instructions and they explain everything so yeah and we get two of these magnetic bases with the statues so yeah you could just fit everything on these two magnetic bases as you saw earlier and then here's looking at the Palpatine head sculpt which is really one of the highlights for this whole set for me I really like how this came out the way the hood just goes over his face right here it just really looks cool to me I like how it covers half of his face right there and you can see that sith eye and sometimes you know we get some shadow over there oh, this is really fun to take a lot of photos of i really dig it a lot great paint detail in there as well the sculpt right here is so detailed even on the neck you can see all the lines nice paint right over here I really dig this a lot. That looks fantastic. I'm very pleased with that. You know, I had always assumed that, you know, Palpatine was kind of being eaten alive by the dark side. I didn't know that he had, like, one, you know, traumatic experience against Mace Windu that made this all happen. So, you know, that, that's kind of always something that kind of bummed me out. You know, I always thought it was like the, the dark side was kind of physically eating at him. And then I have the throne Palpatine right over here, so you could see a comparison. They did not reuse any parts. Totally different head sculpt and, and hood and everything, so that's very cool. And you do attach the head and the hood together as one piece, and then you attach each of the arms over here. I really like how we have this nice texturing throughout on the robe, and we get more of a, like a glossy, a reflective paint right there for that little collar piece, or is it like a brooch? Looks like a brooch, right? And then looking at the hands, oh my god, I love how gnarly the hands look. Jeez, that is gross. Ugh. That, see, again, it kind of like adds to the idea of, you know, him kind of like de decomposing, you know, while he's still alive. Ah, I think that looks awesome. And then there's, looking at that, and then, yeah, see, I, I don't know why being electrocuted hella bad would make your fingernails look like that forever. I have an uncle that actually got struck by lightning twice, and, yeah, he, he his hands don't look like that at all. But he's definitely a little on the, on the pale side, you know, it, it does something to you, man. Can you believe that? Anyway, uh, looking at the gloss right over here, that looks really good. And then looking at the robe right here, that looks nice. So, yeah, really good looking robe on this. I really like that a lot. 
you know, very coarse. You could feel, you know, it's, it's got that texture to it. So that's awesome. And you can see the feet right over there. He has the magnets. Now measuring out these three statues without their bases, you could see that the Royal Guard standing just under eight inches tall. It looks like Palpatine is standing closer to the seven and a half inch mark. And then to show this set off compared to the Kotobukiya Artifacts Plus Palpatine statue with the throne, and you can see that they scale together, you know, as I place them right in over there. Uh, what I like to do is move Move this guy out of the way and just get that setup going right there. That looks sick as hell to me. Uh, I'm very pleased with that. That looks really cool. You know, I did take some pictures of Palpatine on his throne right here with the Imperial Guards. I think that looks awesome. And then for your Emperor Palpatine Royal Guard comparison, you can see the Kotobukiya statue set right here next to the Star Wars Black Series figures. And yeah, I love my articulated figures and everything, man. But yeah, I mean, these statues do look a whole lot better. And then here's Emperor Palpatine with his Royal Guard next to your average six inch scale figure. We have the Marvel Legends Big Time Letdown Spider-Man. Uh, there's nothing special about that guy. I could wield the dark side of the force too. Watch. <laughs> I want to give you guys a big thanks for watching my video. I really do appreciate it. Especially those of you that watch my videos from the beginning all the way to the very end. It really does help this YouTube channel out a lot. Also, it helps the channel when you guys hit that like button when you like the video. And please leave a comment down below. And if you have not subscribed, hit that subscribe button as well as that notification bell. I gotta say, this is a great looking three pack set. I have no complaints over here. I really like all three of them quite a bit. Uh, there's nothing really else to ask for. I I'm very pleased with them a lot. And I feel like we do get some more details with this version of Palpatine uh, compared to the previous version. I don't know. It just seems a little bit more detailed out to me. And I'm very happy about that. Thus, I'm giving it a sun rating of I love it. And I also really like the Imperial Guards too. I, I think they're very nifty as well. They really helped with that stop motion. I hope you guys enjoyed the stop motion. Anyway, if you liked this video, hit that like button. If you want to see a photo gallery of images, you can find it over at JediInsider.com and ShardimusPrime.net. And don't forget to follow me on the Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. Links to everything in the description below. I'll catch you guys later. Peace! Sharpness Prime videos. Hey, you should click one. Yeah, click on one of them. Or subscribe if you haven't.